So let's take a look at the question here, which is coming from Vectors and uh, 2017 paper one. It says the points P and Q have coordinates 2,4 and negative 3,1 respectively. Okay. Express um, vector PQ as a column vector. Okay. So basically, this question is coming from vectors and um, phrased in such a way that it's for paper one, so no calculators are needed. So as much as we'll be doing this, guys, don't use a calculator, okay? Practice using your mind and use the two methods that I'm going to show you. These methods are basically simple and with vectors, paper one questions, you don't really need a lot of thinking. It's their really basic concepts that they bring. Okay, so the first method, I don't know if this is how it's called, but I like calling it a coordinate method. So the coordinate method that I prefer using is a straightforward. You know, I've been told that point P is 2,4 and Q is negative 3,1. Okay, so what I'm definitely going to do is I'll call this one as my coordinate one and this one as my coordinate two. Guys, let's put in mind that coordinate is made up of two x comma y. Okay, so x comma y. So meaning that this is going to be my x one, my y one, and x two, my y two. Now let's look at how we can find this um, coordinate. Uh, uh, I mean this vector PQ. So vector PQ okay, is equal to the difference in X and the difference in Y as a coordinate. Okay. So we are going to say just replace the values, okay? The coefficient value of x2, x2 is negative 3. See, remember we chose this coordinate, <coughs> excuse me, as 2, so meaning x2 is negative 3 minus, what is my x1? x1 is 2, I did 2. Okay, and y2, my y2 is 1 minus from the formula y1, which is 4. Okay, it's 4 there. Then I'll say, okay. What is negative 3 minus 2? It's negative 5. What is 1 minus 4, which is negative 3? That is the first method which I prefer calling um, the coordinate method. Now, there's another one, which is method 2. It's also an easy method, guys, um, which is, which I, I, I prefer calling the segment line method because you you get to apply the concepts that come from the x or y plane. So basically, what I'm going to do is try to sketch a, a rough x or y plane. Okay, I have a, my origin, which is all here, as zero. Okay, then looking at the coordinates here, my x, we have on x's, we have negative three and two. So we're going to have negative three, and a 2 somewhere there. Then looking at the y coordinates, we have 4 and 1. So they are all positive. So meaning 1 and 4 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot P. P is 2,4. So 2,4 is somewhere there, roughly. And then Q is negative 3,1. So negative 3,1 is somewhere right there as Q. Now, in vectors, each point should have an, an initial point, meaning where it's coming from. So this simply means that P has its initial point, which is O, and Q should have an initial point, which is O. So in short, if we were to connect this with a line segment, we'll have something like that. So meaning point P came in existence because it came from point O. 
so it went o to p and would say the same about q so it came in existence from point o to q okay now that we've sketched that the question is saying we've expressed uh, pq vector pq meaning that we are starting from p going to q so we have been asked to find a way to move from p to q so basically what we are looking for is this okay so we are traveling from p to q now you remember uh, the basics of vectors is that we always have to find the root that has been given so in this case we have been given vector op and oq so this is how we're going to move so we're going to move from so we're going to say po that's vector okay plus o q that's going to give us what p q so if i eliminate what is inside i should remain with p q which i'm looking for as in the question we've been asked to express the vector p q so that's how i'm going to move from p to o o to q so what is vector o p i know that o p okay o p is equal to in column vector in we transpose the coordinate so I have two four so now if you look at the line segment that is o p we are heading towards the arrow meaning that it's going to be a positive vector now in this case it's p o so we are coming from p going to o against the arrow meaning the coordinate should be multiplied by a negative that means all the values here are going to be affected so we're going to have negative 2 negative 4 plus now o q o q o q vector o q is equal to negative 3 1 so you can see that we are going towards the direction of the arrow meaning we will not change anything about that vector so we maintain it as negative 3 and 1 okay so, so what is negative 2 plus negative 3 we're going to have negative 5 and negative 4 plus 3 we're going to have negative uh, 3 okay so negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 so you can see that this is our vector pq same answer with the the the, 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 the other one we found using the the coordinate um, method okay let's try to see if we can try another question okay i've picked another question here from 2014 paper one uh, it states you given that a is a point three comma two and b is a point negative one comma five find vector a b okay uh, what I can uh, say is uh, try to pause the video, apply the method that we did on um, question one, and then see how it works out for you. Then compare with the answer that I will get after solving. All right, let's get into this. Um, the first method, of course, the coordinate method, we are looking for vector AB. Okay, so I'm basically going to get the difference in X. And the difference in y as a transposed coordinate so first of all pay attention to your coordinates so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say point a is three comma two i'll write that as one point b is negative one comma five and that will be my two so remember this is x that's y and this is x that's y so x2 I'll come here where is my two coordinate x is negative one I'll replace it minus x1 is three sorry about that negative one minus three then y2 is five minus 
y1 is 2. So negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 and 5 minus 2 is 3. So that is the answer. That is the solution. Let's try and use the line segment on the x or y plane method. We can do the same thing here. I'll do a rough sketch again using the x or y graph. Okay, that will be my O. Of course, that's x and that is y. Now, let's do the coordinates. Looking at our x values, we have a negative 1 and a 3. And y, we have a 2 and a 5. They are all positive and a 5. So the point A is 3, 2. 3, 2, somewhere there will be our A. And point B is negative 1, 5. So somewhere there will be A. So basically, like we stated, sorry, that will be B. Okay, beg your pardon. So remember, we need to draw a line segment from the origin to A. Okay. And another line segment from B. Okay. Just do that to help me make a straight line. Okay. Remember, we always start from O uh, going to the point. So meaning that is the direction we're heading to. So in transpose, um, in the question, we've been told to find vector A, B. So meaning we're coming from this point to that point. So we are moving in that direction to B. That is our direction. So according to vectors, again, we always have to find the possible route that has been given for us to find the solution. So vector OA, OA is equal to, we have been given, we will transpose the coordinate to be 3, 2. And vector OB will transpose the coordinate, which is negative 1 and 5. Okay? Like that. So, we are going to say, we are starting from A, going to B, so we are going to move from A to O, so we are going to say A, O, plus O, B. Remember, when we cancel this, we should have a b which we are looking for is equal to a b okay so what is our vector a o we know that o a is that so if we are heading towards the direction of the arrow we'll get this against the arrow this should be multiplied by a negative so everything by a negative will change to negative 3 negative 2 plus OB, we are heading in the direction of the arrow, so meaning we'll keep the coordinate the way it is. The vector won't be affected. Is equal to, now what is negative 3 plus negative 1? We'll have negative 4. What is negative 2 plus 5? We'll have 3. So, you can see that the method worked again. We have negative 4, 3, and negative 4, 3, using the two different, what, methods. Let me try and see if we can attempt. Okay, this one is coming from 2015, paper 1. It states, given that vector AB is equal to 5, 0, calculate the magnitude of vector AB. So magnitude simply means size. So meaning all we are looking for is the size. This is a very simple and straightforward question, guys. All you have to do is you understand this method. So when we are calculating the magnitude, and I know it's the magnitude because it has been expressed as a b vector. Okay, so meaning I'm calculating the magnitude or the size of the vector. So the method that we use is the magnitude of a b or vector a b is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared okay so this will be equal to 
now we have x so if we look at what we have here is in vector form so you transpose this and the coordinate is going to be 5 comma 0 so meaning that this is your x and that's your y so our x is 5 squared plus 0 squared you don't really have to indicate that if it's 0 but I'm just doing that for you to know exactly what's going on here is that we are replacing the coefficient values of these variables from the coordinate then we're going to have that will be 25 plus 0 so it's 25 so the square root of 25 is 5 this has to be indicated as units because the magnitude of a vector can be for example in distances like um, kilometers centimeters we don't know so we're just going to say five units okay that is basically how you can attempt that question from now you can begin to notice that how they phrase questions in paper one about vectors is very very basic and very easy so let's see if we can try another question maybe this can be the last or we can try two more I don't know yeah here goes nothing anyways okay let's try and uh, let's try and look at uh, this other question here it's coming from 2016 paper one and um, it states given that um, vector a b is equal to negative 3 4 find the magnitude of vector a b remember the magnitude of a vector is simply uh, its length or uh, its size okay so basically what we have to do is transpose this into a coordinate which will be negative 3 okay negative 3 comma 4 so that we can simplify it to the coordinate of understanding the value x and y then we can simply use the formula the magnitude of vector a b is equal to the root of x squared plus y squared then we can just do the replacements the value of x from the coordinate is negative 3 so negative 3 squared plus the value of y is 4 4 squared then we can say 3 uh, multiplied by itself is a uh, 9 plus okay uh, 4 multiplied by itself is 16 9 plus 16 is 25 the root of 25 is 5 units it's similar with the other question that we did otherwise basically that's how you you can handle that question 